is Tom from Never Center. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video the new features we've added in Pixel Mesh 2022.3. Uh, it's two things, uh, two really powerful, interesting things, which are layer blend modes and snapping for vector layers. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be using uh, some, uh, for inspiration, a some pixel art by this guy at Arcade Hero on Instagram. Uh, who was kind enough to let us repost his work on our Pixel Mesh Instagram account. Um, you can follow us on Instagram at pixelmesh.app. We've just kind of started this up, and we're reposting uh, great pixel art from artists who have been kind enough to let us repost. And so, and then we'll also be posting our app updates on there, so you can follow us there. But anyway, uh, this uh, Arcade Hero has some great assets he's made, and we're taking for inspiration this little urn pot guy right here. And so I've reconstructed that and um, use this to show sort of layer blend modes and how they work. Um, you'll be familiar with this if, if you know Photoshop. Uh, let me just add another layer here to show very clearly what's going on here. Uh, I'll just paint in something that's kind of a bright orange stripe across here. All right. And then actually let's uh, clip that to the parent so that it will draw across there like that. All right, so a standard layer blend mode, um, it just draws it in the color that I painted exactly. Um, the different ones, we've got screen, overlay, add, multiply, soft light, hard light, dark and light, and erase. And each of these basically just a, uses different math to determine, okay, if I've got this orange layer drawn on top of something else, what what is it going to look like? So you can see screen, you can sort of see through it a little bit, but it, it, um, I can't explain the math here, but basically as I click through these, you can see each has a different effect on how it draws this on top of the layers underneath. And, um, you know, depending on what color I use and what layer blend mode, I can use colorize to just draw this in some different colors. You can see, there's lots of powerful different ways to blend things. So uh, with this model, how I've used it is that each of these layers that I've divided into light levels, so if I turn these off, you can see I've got the pot underneath, which by the way is um, it's a vector layer uh, with a mirroring effect applied so that it will always be symmetrical. Um, but then I've taken that and then I've added lights sort of one level at a time, sort of lighting, I should say. So you can think of it as the highlights and then mid and then the lower level leaving only the shadows. Um, or you could build it up from the bottom to the top, sort of the, the broadest, dimmest lighting level and then mids and then highlights. But each of these is really just a white layer. So if I put this on standard blend mode, and standard blend mode is just a bunch of white layers. Um, but soft light makes a really nice, uh, when I use that blend mode on these layers, it allows me to just sort of stack up really nicely different lighting levels, and then you get that effect on this pot. So um, lots of interesting ways to use these. Um, we'll be excited to see what you come up with. But uh, the other thing that I want to show, let's just go to maybe uh, this vector layer right here, is the snapping tools for vector layers. So this is another vector layer, so I can just adjust this um, non-destructively really easily to change the shape of this particular spot of lighting. Um, and let me turn on the grid so you can see better what's happening here. But now uh, what we've added is if I hold down shift, it will whatever node I have selected, it will snap that to the center of each pixel that it's over. So this is easy, particularly you would use this for like, you know, when you're drawing rectangular kinds of things. Um, but that lets you get your vector points exactly on pixel. And if I, um, if I choose one of these Bezier handles, and hold down shift, then it's snapping this to 15 degree increments. So it's like 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45, um, 60, 75, 90. I think I got those right. So anyway, that's really handy for when you're drawing rectilinear or just um, sharp 
that are straight edged things with your vector layers and uh, that can be really handy to get um, nice accuracy with that. So those are the the uh, main two things. We've also done some bug fixes um, but we think you'll really enjoy these updates and please use the help menu send feedback option to uh, let us know how we can improve any of these things or any other ideas you have or mention it in the comments below. Um, thanks so much.